God, this is Sir David, the Bard, coming to you from sunny Australia. It's winter time down here right now, but uh, the snow isn't too bad. I'm glad I'm on. I have been on this computer since 8 o'clock this morning, and I don't know what time it is. Let me look over here. What is it? It is 5, 8 to 5. It's a full-time job. Allison! Allison! I told her and told her, don't download anything. Well, she downloaded a game that came with 9,000 games and who knows what else. The picture on the damn computer was so big, you couldn't see anything. It was huge. God, it took me two hours to find a way to get that picture to come down where a normal person can see it and go to the start menu or the restore. You couldn't even get close to that. Well, anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm back on, <laughs> much to the dismay, of the Mormons. It might have been a day and night download. I don't know. Couple announcements now. Couple announcements. Okay, I just sent all the money that you sent in, uh, seventy dollars, to the Philippines, and I have a receipt. I'm not showing it to you, but I have a receipt. It, as usual, went to the Philippines for food and for the care of some of the Filipino kids. Um, I have discontinued collecting. Now, here's why. I'm not going to go into details, okay? But I'm going to tell you something about the real world, okay? Sit down. Humans don't have blood running in their veins. They have money running in their veins. When you mix money and humans, you've got a shit pile on your doorstep that we used to light on fire and people would come out and jump up and down on the shit to put the fire out. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to expose my show or myself or my family to any uh, false accusations on uh, the Danites, the Mormons. Who the hell knows? They're doing everything they can, folks, to shut me down. They're just not going to leave me alone. So I closed um, the bank account. Don't put into PayPal. It'll pile up in PayPal. I don't want that. PayPal is zero. The bank account is zero. I closed the bank account. I'm not going to let the Mormons and the Danites get me. Now, that's one announcement. Now, my next announcement <laughs> is my colonoscopy. A colonoscopy. Okay. I'm 66. I had one like seven years ago, but my uh, grandmother died of colon cancer, and she had a colostomy. Let me tell you what a colostomy is. <laughs> God dang. It's a baggie. It's a little baggie that hangs off the side of your uh, stomach, and all the shit goes into it. People don't want to be around you with a bag of shit on you. <laughs> that is not uh, considered a social <laughs> asset. Anyway, I don't want a bag of shit on me. <laughs> a lot of you Mormons think I'm a big bag of shit. I don't care. I don't want a bag of shit on me. Now, in the old days, I was in my 20s. I had my first colonoscopy. And when they said, put your knees up on your chin, when I was laying on the little bed, the bed, I said to myself, Self, this isn't going to be good. <laughs> and it wasn't. It wasn't. So it came out benign and all that stuff. So I saved uh, <laughs> that experience of uh, the colonoscopy <laughs> playing Bubba on 10, 15 years. Well, this time I went in and they said, well, take this pill. <laughs> so okay. And uh, we're going to put you to sleep. I said, now there's an idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. 
I went in the little room there and I was playing with the nurses and waving suddenly. I was counting to ten backwards and I got to six. And uh, I was in the celestial kingdom. Anyway, I woke up like about 45 minutes later. Felt pretty good, wasn't nauseous or sick, and I couldn't remember. Shit, that pill they give you. Uh, <laughs> that's what I need for my experience in the Mormon church. It makes you forget everything. You can't remember anything. I'd become a normal person if I could get some of those pills. Anyway, this time, I don't want to do this, but damn, you know, I got little kids and a big ass. <laughs> I've got to do something. So, on the 5th or 6th of next month, i got to go in <laughs> and have intercourse. <laughs> the, the, the camera's going to cornhole me. <laughs> got a little camera in there, and they shine around, and I have little people in the wave. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. So anyway, I've got the old colonoscopy coming up uh, on the 6th, I think it is. But I'm not going to tell you what hospital, because the Danites will come with pitchforks and broom handles. And goes like, we'll teach you about Bubba. I go, no, no. So I'm not going to tell you here in Australia, uh, Australia what uh, hospital I'm going to. In fact, I'm going to have a midwife. I'm not having a... Uh, a physician, I'm having a midwife. I don't think she has a license. <laughs> but she says she's been screwing men for years. Hey, I'll take her. No, And she charges zero. I'm saying you get what you pay for. <laughs> Give me the pill. Give me the gas. Anyway, don't send me any more money. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I want to do it with all my heart. But I know the Mormon Church. I know the Mormon Church, and uh, I will be short-lived. I've closed all my accounts, and I've come down to doing the video. No commercials, no money. Right now, they can't touch me. Hopefully, I can keep it that way. Now, when the doctor called me and said, uh, oh, sh I never get phone calls. Never. <laughs> This must be Monson again. Hello? Hello? Is this a Danite? <laughs> Don't call here. <laughs> anyway, when the doctor says, well, you've got to come to this little meeting. Now, this is for the lap band surgery. The colonoscopy, just bring your ass in. <laughs> Dump it on the table. You don't need to know anything. But to do the lap band surgery, i got to go to this meeting <laughs> where they try to scare the hell out of you and go, you're probably going to die. Hey, I'm going to die with this weight anyway. Do it. So anyway, that's Tuesday. That's uh, three or four days from now. i got to go in and uh, go to the little meeting. Now, I don't know. You people in foreign countries, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And by the way, I went to another country. 199 countries have looked at the bard. <laughs> Any way. I said to him, you know, we got to go to this meeting. Is this kind of like where you go over to the Golden Corral buffet and we get to eat all we want? He said, no, it's a lap band <laughs> meeting. You're not going to eat crap. Well, I'm going to eat before I come then. So anyway, then after that, they've got to check me that I've run and I have doctor's orders and it's medically necessary and all goes on and on and on. But anyway, um, I will be someday skinny here on the program. <laughs> Probably a skeleton. <laughs> Can't even speak. My lips are gone or sealed by the Danites. Anyway, the two or three announcements, one, I'm alive. Uh, two, when the doctor said to me, well, you know, this could be quite uh, painful, uh, this colonoscopy. And I said, well, I said, the Mormon church has had their hand and arm up there 66 years. Your camera ain't going to hurt at all. <laughs> and it ain't taking anything out of there. My money is safe. So, 
don't send any more money for the um, children. We raised about 500 and it all went, of course, to the Philippines. And uh, I enjoyed it, but boy, I'll tell you, when you mix money with evil, and evil is mankind, when you mix money with mankind, you better bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. So anyway, um, I'm going to have the colonoscopy. I may be back speaking out of my butt, as usual, according to the Mormon. <laughs> And then I'm going to have the lap band. Uh, so you're going to see a new bard. <laughs> my hair isn't going to grow. My sense of humor, it ain't going to change. My mental illness, it's still there. But you know, the old diabetes, uh, they say, may fall off. Like some other parts have already fallen off. <laughs> but anyway, my computer's back. It's going. Allison, she's she's lucky. I don't Velcro her to the wall. She is so lucky. She comes up here. She loves the computer. She's one of the well. She's pretty smart little girl because she watches a lot of programs and she speaks perfect English. And she's funny as hell. And when she gets on the computer, she just goes at it and downloads <laughs> every evil virus in the world. So anyway, uh, I'm back. I've got a flashing light here. Allison! <laughs> so anyway, i got to go talk to Allison that I got this fixed. And she'll think it was no big deal. And she'll do it again. Thanks.